Whoa. That's a lot. Oh, damn. Looks kind of spocky. It's cool though. It's kind of like alien-y. I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily hate it. <laughs> it's just, it's just, a, it's just a bit odd looking. That's all. Hey everybody, welcome back. Did you guys know that there's an entire subreddit dedicated to shaming people's bad makeup? <laughs> I'm serious. It's called Bad Makeup Artists. Now, I'm not really one to like makeup shame because the fact of the matter is, is I'm not really that good at makeup. Like I'm not really wearing very much makeup right now. I got a little mascara on, I got a little lipstick. I'm uh, I'm not really one to shame people's makeup, but I saw a few of these and I thought that they were just so relatable just because I think that we've all been there. Like I think that we've all had a really bad makeup day. So let's see what happens. I'm not gonna be a dick about it, but let's just dive right in, shall we? She's like a full eight shades darker than her arm. Oh yeah. So I actually, one of my bullies in high school, I realized like later in life that she was actually like black fishing. Like she would wear a foundation that was way too dark for her to appear like she was black. But then she would like lean forward in class and we would see what her back looked like and her back was like white. It was the weirdest thing. So like she was like pretending to be black and she wasn't. And now I'm feeling like, wow, that was actually like really terrible. She was so mean to me, man. I was so scared of her. <laughs> but yeah, it looked a little like this. She was even darker than that, if I recall. Oh yes, loving that, loving the highlight. At this point, it's like, you don't gotta, you don't gotta do all that, you know? Like, uh, I don't know, I feel bad, I feel bad. Like the, I feel like she's got the like, it's salvageable. Like, I feel like she's got the shape somewhat down. It's just like the highlight is too much. She's actually so gorgeous though. Like you can just tell that she's gorgeous. Man, some of us guys, we gotta chill out on the makeup, you know? Like, I feel like we're just trying to keep up with these impossible standards. Oh, girl, no. You, you, you mean you mean to tell me you took those beautiful freckles and you covered them up to look, aww, aww, why do you do that? You're so pretty on your own without all the makeup. Listen, I'm not I'm not one to say, oh, you shouldn't wear makeup. Uh, like, you know, because it is kind of annoying, right? Like if I want to wear makeup, I'm going to wear makeup. It's kind of like a backhanded compliment when you tell someone, oh, well, you look so much better without makeup or you should really wear more makeup. If someone wants to wear makeup because it makes them feel beautiful, then that's fine. But like, I mean, look at the difference here. Like, look at how beautiful she is without makeup. I feel like she almost just doesn't look like a redhead anymore as well with all the makeup on. <gasps> oh no. Like it's a, it's a cool look, but then if you look at her shirt, oh. <laughs> Dude, same, <laughs> I've totally been there. You got some good blending going on though. Oh dang, dang. The power of makeup. Yes, it is quite powerful, is it not? Again, just totally, totally useless in this sense. Totally unnecessary. I feel like the brows really throw me off and the lips. It's just the whole thing. It's a lot. Buzzfeed's geisha makeup versus actual geisha makeup. What'd you do? Did you go to like Crayola or something? Gra gra grab some like, some, some tempura paint? <laughs> I feel like I can say that because it's Buzzfeed. Oh, James, James, oh man, everybody loves to shame James Charles and his friggin' foundation color. You know what? Everybody's foundation color looks a little bit weird. I feel like your foundation is never gonna match your skin perfectly because your skin is, is different, you know? Like your skin looks different on different parts of your face. But like, I don't know, I guess it's also because he's, he's a guy and he has short hair and like he's not gonna go and like bring his foundation up behind his ear, is he? I mean, clearly that's what we're shaming him for. <laughs> Maybe we should have lower expectations. The difference in color between their hands and faces. Yeah, this is actually quite true for like a lot of TV, people on TV. You can you can really see like, and these are professional makeup artists that put makeup on these people. And you know, it's meant to give like sort of like a glow, but you can really tell the difference when they have their like their hand up. Yeah, yeah, you look at the difference. It's, Quite astounding. Oh yeah, yeah, that'll do it. Honestly though, like it's the lighting too. Depends on the lighting, because you can you can put on makeup in like a like a yellow light and like it looks normal, but then the minute that you're in like fluorescent lights or blue light, it'll it'll look so weird. She went to the worst reviewed makeup artist in her city. One of these things does not look like the other. <laughs> she looks so upset. I would be too. Sorry. It's not like it's permanent. You can just wipe that <laughs> off. Hopefully. Spotted on SVU this morning, this poor woman's color match is especially heinous. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. Who are the makeup artists doing this? She's quite orange, is she not? Not good. Some of these are really bad, but I also, I also just don't really want to be mean. Oh dang, so this is, this is when contouring just like, 
just don't, you know? There's certain people who do contouring and it looks really, really good like in a selfie, but like any other time, it just looks, it looks peculiar. It looks odd. Your, your, your face already has those natural contours on it, right? Oh. I feel like this happens when you buy like, like a lot of drugstore foundation it has that like gray tone to it. Yeah, it'll do that. I feel like you don't really learn until someone points it out on you. Like you think it looks fine until someone like says it. I mean, I don't hate this one. I don't kind of like the colors. It's art, you know, it's different. It's not supposed to be like, I don't know. I I'm on the fence about this one. The, the lips I'm not a fan of, but I, I like the rest of it. Whoa, that's a lot. Maybe it was like a costume or something. Was that what that was? A costume? Maybe it was just like for the shoot or something. Oh man. Whoa, bruh. That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot of stuff on there. Oh dang, look at, look at these. Is this like bridesmaids? Are these bridesmaids? Yeah, it kind of looks like it. They got the orange faces. Soft and subtle glam. If you guys want to see more creative, soft, full glam looks, then click my Instagram handle to follow my page. I would not call that soft or subtle in any respect. I, think, I feel like it makes you look a lot older, you know? Like, ah, oh man. See, I just feel like we're all just trying to keep up with all these, these insane beauty standards and we're all just trying to be so like, you know, we're trying to be all the Kylie Jenners and stuff. We feel like we have to do that in order to be pretty, but like we don't, you know? Oh my, oh crap. Well, I mean, I like the highlight, but I feel like it's the lips. It's the lips that are for me. <laughs> Remember, even celebrities aren't safe from bad makeup artists. All right, let's take a look see here. Yeah, I don't mind Christina Aguilera, but yeah, I remember when that happened with Nicki Minaj, that was a lot. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, full wedding glam, love that. Love that for you, babe. Aw, whoa, she looks almost green. Bruh, I feel like that's the lights. I think the lights are making her look really weird, but yeah, like her, her foundation looks pretty much like yellow or green. Dang, keep in mind he was on a show for makeup artists, yeah. Oh, it's too much, it's too much. I feel bad, I feel bad makeup shaming people. Whoa, girl, what your eyebrows doing all the way up there? Where'd they go? Wait, I feel like you're drawing them on all the way up there. This has to be a costume for something. Oh, I tried a Disney villain and I'm just ashamed. Okay, makes sense, it's a costume, eh, it's fine. You get a pass, that's a lot, that's a lot. Why do we do this to ourselves, guys? Like, why, why do we do all that, you know? And makeup, makeup is an expensive hobby too. Can you imagine how much money we spend on makeup like every year, or, like in our lifetimes? I feel like we would all be like $300,000 richer if we just never wore makeup or minimal makeup, you know? Granted, not everyone is uh, is blessed with like good skin. Not everybody's like happy with the way that they look. So maybe this is how people feel like pretty. But I mean, I'm still one that like, I love I love the minimal. I love the minimal makeup. Less is more, right? Guys, I'm dead. I went to Ulta to buy new foundation and the girl that helped me said, oh yeah, it matches your skin perfectly, but please look at this. Oh no, she lied to you. She should be fired. Oh dang, dang girl. Yeah, you can really tell because her hair is up, like her hairline. Yeah, that'll do it, that'll do it. And I think we all went through this brow phase, you know? I definitely did. Just why'd you do that? Why, why, why'd you, why? But it was the style, it was, the, it was, everybody was doing it, you know? That glow though, that glow. I'm so glad highlight, like severe highlight isn't as much of a thing anymore. Just look like everybody was just like dipped in gold, which is a look, it's a look, but is that a look you wanna go for? I don't know. Anyways guys, I hope that wasn't too sassy. <laughs> Definitely didn't mean to judge anybody, but you should have seen what some of these captions were. It was like, it was like super mean. I can't believe there's a whole group dedicated to this. Yeah, tell me about some of your makeup fails down below in the comments. We've all been there, let's be honest. I think that we should all just be happy with the way that we look, but it's not that simple, is it? Subscribe! <laughs>